Hi guys, it's Natalie. Welcome to my channel. It's Wednesday. You know what that means. Story time. Oh my gosh. I'm filming this and like putting it out right now. As usual, I don't even know why I say it. Um, this look we will talk about tomorrow. The stuff that goes with it. I'm doing a video on my glowy skin I'm excited for you to see the video so you can find out what is going on here with my face and it's glowing goodness you have to wait till tomorrow though today I don't like when people text me during my videos so today is story time last week was about Sean dying um I kept trying to be like, oh, what could I do this week to avoid that? But I might as well just keep going with it. Um, I was like, oh, I could show them my kit that I have for this like movie thing I'm working on, um, doing makeup for this movie. I'm gonna tell you, I mean, it's, it's like a local movie. We'll talk about that though. I wanna show you the stuff this lady gave me. It's really cool. Um, but no, I'm just going to keep going with story time because that's what I said I was going to do this week. Um, so we left off. I think I'm like composed today. We left off at Sean passing away. I had my picture that I held up for the intro. This is the day my son was born. This is me, his dad, and him. Obviously, this is like my favorite picture and picture frame from Walmart. I don't know. I just I love this picture just the way it is. I can never, ever change it. Um, so we left off. Oh, my brain is all over the place today. It's so hard sometimes to focus um, and talk about something like this. Wow, look at that cool. <laughs> so anyway, um, I left off with like calling his dad. So Sean passed away. If you don't know about it, it's in the previous um, week's video. I talked about that and how it happened. So he passed away. My dad came and picked me up from work. I called Sean's dad to notify him. Um, I was in like a complete state of shock. I got home. I feel like it was like so late by the time I got home. Like. I don't even know. I have no idea. I can't keep track of time thinking about it. Um, my dad drove me home. I got home. My son was upstairs sleeping. This sounds so terrible. But during it, I like lost all attachment to everything for a couple days. Like I, I didn't even feel any feeling like I didn't want to see my son like my mom would put him on top of me and I would be like just please stop I couldn't even hold him I was so sick I just I, I felt like I truly was going to die that I could not go on I had to figure out how to leave I could not do it that's how I felt I remember that night um my mom stayed at the house with me and slept in bed with me and I just laid there and cried and um you know she tried to comfort me and that was like I think in the morning she got up with him and then tried to like put him on top of me it was either that day or the next day and I was like no please stop I can't do this right now was like that for a couple days um and just I remember just telling people my friends um Jimmy and his wife had driven down and I don't know it was a daze it was really just a daze um and everyone was texting me worried that I was gonna relapse and I was like I can't even get out of bed like let alone think about relapsing like I don't even want to be awake like I just and then I did this thing where like I just wanted to just lay there you know and um everyone was blowing up my phone and people kept saying it they kept saying we don't want you to relapse we don't want you to relapse and honestly it was not even on my mind 
I, I can't blame people for that. Like, that's not why I'm trying to, I'm not trying to sound like that. But I almost feel like everyone's saying that. It was like in my head, like, well, all right, everyone assumes I'm going to, and I probably will, so why don't I just do it? I don't care about being alive anyway. But I didn't relapse until the day that we buried Sean. Um, so yeah, they found his body in a car. He died alone in his car with a needle in his arm in a parking lot. It's like 100 degrees outside in August. He was there all day by himself. The cops tried to say he the car wasn't there until 6 and they found him at 7. The autopsy showed he was dead for 10 hours, I want to say it was. He died at like 8.30 in the morning and they found him at 7.30, 11 hours, whatever that makes it. He had significant damage, you know, um, from the way he was sitting in the sun for that long and how he was like laying on his body and it, it was bad. It was very, very bad. Um, I didn't get to see him until he was laid out. Yeah, um, it was rolled a heroin overdose. I have my opinions on it. I mean, yes, I think that he stuck a needle in his arm and it killed him, obviously. I think he, I mean, he was doing more than just heroin. They found more in his system. I think it was a buildup of, of drug use and just being unhealthy over time. I, th I honestly think his body just gave out because... The night before, um, he was just being so strange, like he couldn't sleep and it, and it just made no sense because if he was on heroin, he should have fallen straight asleep. His body was just like kicking and it was almost like it was convulsing when he was laying in bed with me. Like I, I honestly feel like his body was giving out. He didn't sleep that night woke up, did more drugs, a mixture of probably heroin and cocaine, and I think he just couldn't take it. I, I, I truly, truly think that that contributed to it, or I also believe that maybe he did a shot, and I don't know if anyone is familiar with drug use but you could go out but that doesn't mean you're overdosing you could kind of just fall out but you come to on your own now imagine if you fall out you're already tired from being so overworked your body so you fall out in a hot car alone you're not gonna wake up unless someone comes and shakes you and wakes you up or brings you out of that car. So then you're just sitting there, still sleeping. Your body already, like if you're sleeping and you're on heroin as opposed to just sleeping, your body is is um, in an even slower and more suppressed state than if it was sleeping on its own. So he's in that state and then I feel like you're just falling deeper and deeper into it because you're in the hot car like I I don't know I'm telling you there's something I you know you you know people and in my gut I just do not think that it was a bad batch or too strong of a batch that killed him I just do not he was on his way to work the amount of drugs they found on him like that was used compared to not used it, it did not make sense the numbers that he would have done it all at once I know him but I knew him I knew his drug use behavior you know what I'm saying I know it sounds stupid but I did and it just did not add up to me um it didn't add up to me I think there was more to it um you know, I went through all these crazy emotions. I never got his phone back from the cops. Never got his phone back. I don't want to, don't wanna. I mean, it was locked. Yeah, I guess you could figure, like, I don't wanna know. I don't wanna know. 
all the things that I probably didn't know, you know, um, how much was maybe if there was more use going on. I don't want to know who sold it to him. It's not going to bring him back. I don't want to know. I don't even want to read that text that says like, on my way, dude, here. Like, I, I don't want to see it. I don't want to see it. I probably texted him actually right when he was dying, um, cause that's when I woke up. He died at like 8.30 and I remember Sean started crying in the other room right then and that's when I woke up and I texted him about the bottle and he was dying right then. You know, um, I hate it. I have a really hard time dealing with all of it. I block it all out. I know it's not healthy. <laughs> But it's just what I do. I just, I just block it out. Um, it's easier. I'm somebody where I become obsessed with things. And if I don't block it out, then I'm obsessed with it. And it cripples my life. That's just how it is. Just how it is. So, you know, we went to the funeral, obviously. We, uh, you know, we buried him. And uh, when we were at the funeral home... You know, I went up last with baby Sean and um, before they closed the casket for the last time and I had a little toy for Sean to put in there and you know, Sean didn't understand. He was, it was a month, it happened a month before Sean's first birthday. And, you know, I was trying to hold, hand him the toy to put in his dad's casket and he was just trying to jump on his dad. He thought, he thought he was sleeping, you know, and it's like moments like that that are just like, uh, when I hear my son's voice say, daddy's in heaven, like, it just is so hard, because my son is the cutest voice ever, and when I hear him say it, like, I'm so sad for him, I really am, I'm so sad. I mean, yeah, I want to have a family one day and all that, but, like, I just am so sad that he's going to know all this, you know? I mean, obviously, I'm going to tell him amazing things about his dad, but, like, I'm just sad that he never got a chance to know his dad, and, like, I can tell him how much his dad loved him, but I wish he would have gotten to see it. And, uh... I don't know. Then there were like weird things that happened. Like I've been struggling with my faith lately. Um, but there were weird things that happened like right after he died, like almost like signs. There was something that happened before we buried him. Like actually when I was like up at the casket, that was just so insane. But it's something that um, I don't really feel comfortable sharing on here. It's just something that I don't. But it was so crazy what happened. Like, it, it was just, to me, I don't care what anyone else says. It was, like, the ultimate sign. Like, it, it truly was. And, um, oh, it was just, oh, my God. And I relapsed the day we buried him. I almost relapsed the day before we buried him, but it ended up being the day we buried him, like after we buried him, I relapsed. And I'm just gonna end this here right now because I just, um, I need to like break it into segments, you know? But um, yeah, I have, I have another video. Like I said, I just filmed. So I'll have a video out tomorrow night, I think. There's actually another one that I want to get out this week, so we'll see. I don't know if I'll have time. I'm actually going to be doing my um, NYX Face Awards entry sometime within the next three days. I have to decide on the final look because I did something. I don't know if I really like it now. And then I probably have to like order some stuff to even do the look I want to do. So we'll see when it gets here, hopefully by Saturday. So if that's the case and I'm doing it on Saturday, I will have time to film and get some stuff out. Um, yeah, you guys know the drill. 
s like this video, subscribe to, or I hope you like it, um, subscribe to my channel, head to my Insta. I always have a giveaway right now. It's the Anastasia Soft Glam Palette. Um, yeah, it's pretty awesome. My giveaways run until the first of every month and then I start a new one. They're always on my Instagram, so make sure that you are entering on my Instagram on the original post, so your entry is counted. That is where all the entries are counted from. So, yeah, I feel like, I feel like that's everything. So yeah, I love you guys. Bye, love you.